guys welcome to my new video and today we will see what cloud analyst is and uh, how we are going to use it for uh, getting an idea for how to deploy a cloud and how the requests are coming to uh, data center and how much time it is going to take okay and how much money we are going to earn from it from it okay so now uh, let us go to the website where we can download it so uh, this is the website uh, this is actually a blog from which you can download so go to this block and click on this uh, link. This link is also available in my description box of this video. So you can download it from there. Okay. And uh, then extract those uh, those files. I have already extracted those in, in this directory. So let us go there. So this is Cloud Analyst. Okay. So you have to run this bad file for it. So double click on this and it will open a, uh, open this application. So now go to configure simulation and first of all let us configure data centers. Okay. So before that let us see what uh, this is. Okay. So this is the world map where you can uh, place your data center and user base. So user base is actually a group of users. Uh, who are requesting for the services from data centers okay and uh, we can analyze the request we can analyze how they are requesting to different data centers like across the globe and uh, this is actually used for uh, social networking uh, to analyze the social networking behavior okay so how this is going to uh, this user base is going to interact with the data center and uh, we can place different data centers across different continents so this uh, world map is divided into six uh, regions so these are the six regions and uh, we can analyze the request okay now let us go and configure okay so data center one is there in region zero let us add two more data centers okay now this data center is in uh, i think north america okay now let us place another data center in uh, say sorry for that uh, let us place that in second region and let us place the third one in fifth region okay and you can also configure the hardware ha hardware of the data center like uh, how much memory uh, in terms of har hardware is there in data center and how much storage it has how much available bandwidth is there you can change these values okay you can anytime change these values Okay. let us keep it as it is number of processors processor speed and policy okay so this we cannot change and let us go to the main configuration you can uh, set the duration for the simulation so let us set this to say 10 minutes and we have one user base let us create two more so this is in europe second user base let us create one in Asia and one in South America. Okay, and we have we can also give the policy for uh, for this broker uh, broker service. So what this broker service is uh, when you request for something, it passes through a broker. Okay, and that broker decides where to forward your request. So uh, the request policy is closest data center. So let us change this to optimize optimize response time okay so it will uh, look for the data center which will process its request fast okay so this is how it is and let us add a few more data centers here oh, sorry we have to select data centers from okay and finally and after doing all this uh, you can save your configuration before that let us see what is there in advance so user grouping factor in user basis equal to number of simultaneous users from a single user base so how many users at the same time are uh, we can group them and we can send th their re request to the data center request grouping factor in data centers equivalent to number of simultaneous request a single application server instance can support so how many requests the data center can support at the same time okay so we have kept it 10 and how many instructions per request it can handle so if we are giving here 100 so this means that at the same time it can 
handle uh, thousand request if if it is there if, if it is having 10 as a grouping factor okay and load balancing policy is round robin hood okay now let us go and save this configuration so let it be abc and we are done okay and we don't need to define internet characteristics first we, we will run this okay so it has created this uh, result sheet and we can see response time for user base 2 user base 1 request uh, servicing time is also there and finally we have cost and that's it so you can also create a pdf for of this just go to export results and it will create a pdf okay, okay so you can see a uh, request response time for each data center okay so we haven't uh, uh, went to this data center okay because we are using uh, optimized uh, request time policy so but it hasn't uh, it's, it haven't visited this okay so that's it thanks for watching guys and uh, do like this video comment and sub subscribe